Many Canadians know the name Peter Sherman. They've heard his shows. He's been on radio for a generation. He's not that old. But he joins me right now because he is no longer on 640 or 1010. He was, he's got disputes with this. He was fired last week. Now, you weren't an employee. You were on radio because you like doing radio, but you were told you will no longer be on radio. No more shifts. And the reason is uh, an interaction with a caller, not even a caller, a guest, who uh, was on to tell me about a module that she was adding the government to, uh, p for people who sell alcohol, for waiters and waitstaff bars and whatnot. We got into a discussion. Um, I told the story about a young female relative who came to live with us from a smaller area. She didn't know Toronto. And uh, I educated her because and, and, she was getting together with people who she met in chat rooms and leaving drinks on the bar while she went to the bathroom. I said, no, 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 you don't do that in Toronto. And this woman took issue with me and said, you used the term got herself into trouble. trouble. Women never get themselves into trouble in bars. It's men who get them into trouble. I took issue with that. Um, and um, Sounds like a good discussion. It was a great discussion. I wish she'd stayed because there was more to talk about. But she got angry. She essentially said the interview's over, and she hung up. And she is connected politically in Toronto. She's very connected politically in Toronto. She's, uh, she's a left-wing, self-described activist. She's married to Councillor Kristen Wong. Um, she, uh, she knows people within the NDP, so uh, she can get things done, and I acknowledge that. I just wish we'd been able to talk. So, I mean, 640 is owned by Global. It's a big, mature company. Monster. So why would they care about some discussion with a lefty who got a set with you saying, well, some women can get themselves into trouble. Men get themselves into trouble, too. Because the too woke to me. Well, they've had uh, a couple of incidents in the last year or two where people got involved with, uh, wittingly or unwittingly, I couldn't say, with, uh, let's call it the woke world. And the woke world really wants to change the rules altogether. And if you don't agree with their rules, it's, it's almost as if they've drawn a circle around themselves. And now you're in the, in the circle, or you're outside the circle. We're not talking about equality of opportunity here. We're talking about quality of results. And they decide what the end game is. Yeah, but this is, but this is, and we have freedom of speech, we have freedom of press. You didn't say anything egregious. To my mind. And one woman was upset, and she's politically you know, accountable, and she got you fired with these big executives. She says she didn't want to get me fired. She wanted an apology, which she got in spades. I think, essentially, the, the management of 640, and I'm talking very senior management, bent over. Yes, I think we just leave it at that. They've got no guts. Peter Sherman, you've got guts. Thank you very much. The hallmark of a free society is independent press. And in Canada, increasingly, we don't have an independent press when the PMO pays many outlets to say what they say. This station is independent, it's free, and if you can contribute, please do so, because we want to stay on the air. We have people on this show who analyze the situation and provide facts that otherwise you would get in the press. So thank you, subscribe, you can contribute.